Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Rohde with Dental Compare. We are here today with Mark Fleming in the Serona booth talking about a new thing that they're bringing out called the CEREC AC Connect. Now, you're, Mark, you're no stranger to uh, CEREC. You've no, been using been with, this for a while. Been using this for uh, 10 years now with the basic uh, chair side, but this is, like you said, a new rollout here for Serona for people who are interested in only taking digital impressions. Right, because traditionally now, obviously, CEREC is you take the digital impression, then you can use a CAD design of that tooth, then mill out a tooth and go right. from there. And I found that very you know, valuable for my practice, but there are a lot of dentists out there that aren't interested, as they say, becoming a lab person, they, but they're interested in, in the technology of taking digital impressions. So with this, we can take a digital impression of the work to be done, send it to the laboratory, and then have it back. But also one of the biggest things now is the return on investment. Before with digital impressions, like anything, it, it, you are running a business so you want it to be profitable. Scam fees could eat into your profit. So Serona is coming out with this technology with no scam fees. So there is a return on investment now. So once you buy the initial machine, that's it? Right. You can scan and send the image to the lab and they return your restoration. As much as you want. Pay. For the rest of the life that you have this uh, technology in your office, no scan fees forever. And what, what makes a digital, you know, in case people aren't familiar with it, what makes a digital impression so much better than just using the goop? Well, first off is the goop. A lot of patients don't like to have that, that feeling in their mouth. So we can take the scans. It can be much quicker and we can get immediate feedback. Uh, actually, immediate feedback in two ways. We get the immediate feedback on the screen, we can see what our preparations look like. But also, if it's a larger case and we want to get feedback from the lab, usually if you were taking, let's say, a, uh, a PVS impression, you would send it to a lab, and sometimes it would seem like in two or three days you get that famous phone call, uh, doctor, there's a pull in the impression. Right. Well, here you would either notice it right away, but also when we upload these files to the lab that we're using, it takes about 90 seconds. The lab can actually give us a call, say, everything looks all right, you're good to go, you can go ahead and provisionalize the case right now. Right, especially on a bigger case too. Especially on a bigger case. You know, it, I think it's been said by Gordon Christensen, one of the hardest things in dentistry is get a full mouth impression with no pulls in there, anything else. So you can get the feedback right away. And let's say it's one picture out of the whole scan. In this, you can go back and just take another scan in that area without taking a whole new impression. Just add to it. Just add to it. So how long is it? I mean, okay, so great. This takes, you know, a full mouth scan. How long does it actually take to get that thing? I mean, I could take an impression material and it takes, you know, a couple minutes to set A couple up. minutes. This can take, you know, anywhere, depending if you're doing a half an arch, 30 seconds, full arch, a minute, and 45 seconds. And we can also link things to, uh, together, the opposing arch, by the use of the buckle scan that's uh, used with this software also. So we see the case already articulated and we can see whether we already have clearance in that area to make sure the restoration can be uh, properly done. And now for people who don't want to get into the CAD CAM design, you don't have to do any of that with no, this? No, in fact, all you have to do with this technology, if you want to, is to just take the scan, you get to the point, the models come together and you can send that to the lab. You also have the uh, option though, and, and personally I think it's a good option, to draw your own margins. You know, you don't have to leave that to the lab. You don't have to, did they ditch right? Did they put it in the right area? You can actually circumscribe your uh, margins, then send it to the lab. Well, let's take a look. You want to do maybe a practice scan here? Yeah, we'll do a, a half an arch here for time's sake uh, with, uh, with the blue cam. Uh, there's different settings on here to uh, tolerances to, to taking the scans and um, it's constantly taking pictures but it, when you hold still that's when the pictures line up and it stitches things together. I'm always looking at the screen not in the mouth I just have a feel after having done this for 10 years of, of what's going on and then usually when I get to the bicuspid area and I get that stitch, I roll to the buckle because you'll see later how that buckle scan comes into play here. So I've taken my, uh, uh, the area where I have my restorations. Now I'm going to move down and take my antagonist or my opposing arch using the, the, the same technology here. So while you're doing that, one of the things I'm noticing is this camera actually does capture undercuts because you can 
you can shift roll. The, yes. Shift the camera. Yeah, it can angle. Any anything that you want to get. We were talking some orthodontists here at the meeting, talking about getting different areas that possibly using for retainers and whatever. And all we have to do is just roll to either side to gather what's below the uh, the height of contour of the tooth, because as we all know, light does not bend. So right. if you're going around a corner, you want to grab that. And then when, in my practice, when, I, uh, when I'm practicing, I like to use an isolite, and I'll take that out, and I'll ask the patient to uh, close and make sure they squeeze all the way together. And then I come in and, and go 90 degrees to the uh, bicuspid area. And really, all I need is one scan there, and then we'll ask the software to start stitching some models together. So that was a short amount of time. Very short. And you got and, everything. Uh, it looks like you could have done multiple restorations with the same Multiple line. restorations at the same time. Let's say, you know, for whatever reason, chair side, I didn't want to do this. And uh, let's say the patient was fond of gold. And there are, I do have patients that want that. They want to go ahead and have gold restorations. I'll take these scans, send it, and then provisionalize at this. And then at this stage, we start stitching the models together for our bite. It's easily brought into here, stitching into this and bringing this up to here. We just have to get it reasonably close. And it figures out where it's It figures out where it needs to go. That's our uh, models. And even though this is a, a handheld articulator, we can also see where the, the occlusion is here. And then we are on our way after this next step where I get a chance to evaluate the models. And I can just look at the, the bite and how it's together. If I just want to look at my preparation, I remove the others and make sure everything's good. So here's where you're checking your margin. I would check my margin. I could actually draw my margin here if I wanted to or hit this icon down here and start the process of sending it to the lab. So as soon as it's you hit that, that icon, boom, it's off to the lab. It's, you're it's, not well, it out. well, there are some things I have to fill out, what kind right. of restoration I want, the patient's it's name the and everything. Form. But after that, 30 seconds, you know, fill in. If I'm a slow typer, 45 seconds. And then we're uh, so to the lab, and within 90 seconds, we have feedback from the lab, hey, everything looks good. Of course, everything looks good because I prepped it, that's, but that's right. <laughs> we go from there, and then, and then we're into provisionalizing the case. Yeah, that's fantastic. So what, now, I mean, it kind of seems like once you're getting in this and you're seeing the digital models and the digital impression, I mean, is there an option now, okay, wow, I have this, I like it, I want to start getting into sort of the CAD design yeah, of it, that. Yeah, and I think that's what's going to happen. I think a lot of people are scared, you know, how am I going to take this impression? I don't feel comfortable in doing that. But once they get into this and see how simple this is, then Serona does have a program that you can update into the regular AC unit and the milling unit and right. start getting into the chair side restoration. Bringing the lab into your own office. Bringing the lab into your own office. And, and not so much even bringing the lab into your office, but offering the patients the chance to have a one visit dentistry because everybody's time is, is important now. And I like that, the control that I have and also the creativity that you're able to exhibit into the practice. Right. Um, well, I appreciate your time. This is pretty exciting stuff. I think so. I, you know, once again, great return on investment for people who just want to start out with digital impressions, but also the option to move up in the chair side if you wish later on down the road. Right. Incredible. Thank you, Bart, sir. Thank you for your time. The new Seric AC Connect. I'm Dr. Jeff Rohde with Dental Compare.